be catching some, some tadpoles, tadpoles and critters and stuff in like the that. wetland, and then we're going to study them in the buckets that we have laid out over here. The students catch aquatic insects and small vertebrates from the wetland. They identify and record what they catch in their field journals with the date. The students do this using a field guide. They track what they catch over the seasons. There is a section in some field guides that tell which types of organisms healthy bodies of fresh water should contain. In this way, the students can gauge the health of their wetland. Okay, Emory, you find out what type of thing that is. Okay. Put it in there. Oh, my. That thing. Um, oh, oh. It has no wings. And a, um, Emory. Um, let's Oh, whoa, spider. <laughs> spider. That, um, let me, let me, it kind of looks like a dragonfly larva. That one, let's see, it's kind of like a spidery thing. It's four pairs of legs. Oh, ow. Okay. Looks like a fishing spider right there. Looks like a fishing spider and two dragonfly larvae because the new one just came in. And they both look like dragonfly larvae. We have a lot of those. We found a lot of those yesterday. You got the tadpole? You got the tadpole? Just put it in there. Come on. Put it in. Cute. And we also have a tadpole in there now. <laughs> Cute little things. Okay. Get any more or I got a lot of mud. There's probably some yeah, other type of here. The kids really seem to have a good time in this club. They're learning a lot about the environment and they're excited about all the critters they find. I'd recommend this club to any parent for their kids. If you'd like to learn more about the club, contact their teacher, Beth Brownlee, at Beth.brownlee at QACPS.org.